Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world? Alright, so I've got one that was given to me by Justin Kobe. He uh, is a manager up at the Main Street Market in Warrington, Oregon here. Um, I, I, I really appreciate this a third time now. Uh, so thank you now three times to him uh, through this video, once through, through this video, uh, twice in person, <laughs> once in check, once in text and once in person and now in this video. Holy crap. <clears throat> All right. Um, but uh, yeah, just very nice. He gave me like five beers on uh, one of his uh, Coeur d'Alene trips. Berlin, Idaho. So this, these guys uh, were, these guys were, uh, it's from Trickster Brewing Company. They're out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And uh, they, they were, they were just building their brewery about eight, eight years ago or so before we moved here to Oregon. So, um, and I was just, it was, oh man, I, I was really wanting to try beer there. So now I'm able to try it. Um, so this is the J-Box. He already had them cold and everything. That was so nice of you, dude. Uh, check it out. Jukebox is what I'm assuming because they have a jukebox. They have a, a wolf for their logo, Independent Craft Brewers Association, and they won a national IPA challenge, Champions uh, 2018. All right, tricksterbrewing.com. They are at 3850 North Shriver Way, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, 83815. I know exactly where that's at. <laughs> We were in Idaho about 13 years, so, all right, so, and this, uh, doesn't have a date, anything like that, it's a 7% IBU with 85 IBU, or, excuse me, 7% ABV, 85 IBUs, so it's pretty, uh, pretty bitter, probably more of a Westie is what I'm assuming, cooking some burritos right now, this might all go perfect with that, looks Westie. Let's stop it there. Let's put the J-Box up there. Give a little shout-out to Coeur d'Alene. Yes, yes. Good stuff, man. It's good to see them up on the uh, chain of uh, craft brewers and stuff like that. That's kind of cool to see it explode over there. So, um, it was like I heard there was uh, other breweries as well there, too. So, All right, so um, looks great. I mean, it looks – it's got a nice – it's got a nice um, – Kind of a, a like a copper, a light copper, an, a, an amber, uh, amber uh, look to it. It does have a slight haze to it, chill haze more or less. White head. The head's uh, it's a. Uh, I didn't pour it too aggressively. If I poured it more aggressively, it probably would have. But it's got a good retention. Let's go into the nose. Oh yeah, pine, just a piney. It's got a nice uh, resinous like kind of piney thing going on. Uh, for from the hop, hoppy kind of bitter uh, bitterness in the nose, it has some uh, some um, grapefruit as well, uh, pink grapefruit or something like that. A little bit of orange in there, maybe tangerine, nectarine possibly as well. It smells very uh, West Coast like, definitely. So, all right, yeah. Looking good. Let's drink this. Cheers. That's interesting. It's actually pretty smooth. It's got a, a lot of bitter I, I've used. <clears throat> Not a lot. It's actually pretty balanced. 85 and so for, for the style. But it's very smooth. It's got a watery effect to it. Um, but it has a lot of flavor as well. It's got this smooth mouthfeel and finish. You're expecting it to be more, <coughs> you know, like uh, sharper or uh, more hoppy, um, kind of that West Coast kind of um, hard water, kind of snip snappity kind of feel. But um, it's, it's very smooth and relaxed with a lot of flavor, with the same kind of flavors that apply with the aromas. Grapefruit, little tangerine, nectarine-y kind of thing going on. Piney, grapefruit, yeah. Little orange, yeah, that nectarine, or uh, yeah, it's more of a nectarine orange. A little pear coming through, I think, in there. I got a little pear. Interesting. And it's smooth. It does have kind of that, it has that bitter feel up on the uh, hard palate of your mouth, right on the roof right here. 
but it smooths out. It, it does kind of go bitter in the back on the tonsils. You can kind of get a bitter flow right there. But it's so, oh, what did I do? Um, but it's so, uh, it's just so thirst quenching. It's, it's nice. I must have cut my arm. Okay, um, very good. Out of 10 hops, I'm going to give this, I will, I like the smooth character of it. I, I thought it was great. I'll give it, um, it does dry off pretty fast. I am going to give this an A for sure. We'll give this a uh, 9.2 out of 10. Hops, this is very delicious. I would totally buy it again. It's it's a go-to for me. If he if it's ever something he has there, I'll, I'll buy it. So right on, man. Thanks a lot, Justin. I appreciate you, man. Good, good friend, man. Right on. Cool. Take it easy, guys. Have a good night. Good night, day, wherever you're from in this world, but not after one more sip. Cheers.